into a ball. Oh my god, sir. If I give it a good old wipe and the reveal. Oh my god! You guys, it's Lee. You've joined me today in the loft, in the workstation. You know what's happening in the pad. We need to have a name for this place, the, the new Hinchy Pad. Should it be called the Hinchy Pad? Let me know down in the comments below some names that I could call the loft. Mm, you can't see it. Oh, there we go. Hello. Basically, in today's video, what you guys are going to be watching is me take on. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it recently. There's a new trend going around on YouTube where people get aluminium foil, tin foil, whatever you want to call it. You roll it up into a ball and then hammer it down and then like sand it down and polish it and everything and it should turn into a stainless steel like metal ball sort of thing so i thought you know what i want to take this challenge on for myself i want to see what the crack is what's the crack you marker I, I keep mentioning well, that's the crack so basically what i got my dad to do is set up like a work mate i forgot what it's called i think it's called a work mate with like a piece of wood on the top of it where i can actually take on this video so right now i'm going to take you guys downstairs into the conservatory where i'm going to be doing this video today but before we go any further into this video if you could go down there and smash a like below let's get 3,000 likes on this video Video, I would really 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 appreciate it and also while you're down there make sure if you are new to my channel you press that subscribe button because I really appreciate the help we're almost at 240,000 subscribers which is madness it blows my mind but enough yapping on from me let's go downstairs see what the crack is so three two one <sighs> right here we are we are in the conservatory this is my conservatory with the little fishies right there what are you then that to everyone is a sucker fish oh okay uh, I think he's camera shy so we're in my conservatory right now right here I have everything set up. Look, this is this is called a workmate. I think it's a workmate. I'm sure that's a workmate. And then this is just like a bit of like worktop, kitchen worktop, bit of paper, hammers, sandpaper, and I have tin foil in the cupboard. Obviously, you need hammers to hammer it down once it's in the ball. Then sandpaper is to sand it all off in the end. And there's some polish through there. So in a minute, I'm going to set the camera up right here. So I'm going to be stood there. And I'm going to take on this challenge. I'm going to create a foil ball and then hammer it down until it becomes compressed and heavy and like sort of metal -y. And then sand it down to see if we can take on this challenge. See if we can complete the challenge of making a stainless steel aluminium foil ball. So I've got everything set up here. As you can see, this is my workstation. I have sandpaper for when it's done. You sand it down to get that polished metal steel stainless steel look and then here I have the tin foil to actually create the tin foil ball and here I have two hammers most likely gonna be using this one because of like the surface area thing on it to bash 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 it and then this one kind of like to pack it oh my god and this one then at the end to kind of pack it in a little bit once it's got really small and can I just say I'm filming this in my conservatory because this could get kind of like mucky in a way and it is red hot like it is steaming hot in this conservatory I've got my hoodie on lee-shinscrift.shopfireband.com link in the description cop yourself some merch plugging it you know but the weather in the UK right now is really good and it is red hot in this conservatory and I can't open a window because you'll hear this Okay, you probably didn't hear much, but basically that's like, um, oh, never mind. But I am sweating already, and I'm going to be hammering away some tin foil. So I'm probably going to get a good old dab on in this video. I need to stop doing that. So let's just start it off. I'm going to use the whole roll of this tin foil. The whole roll of it. Don't need that now. I'll do it in little bits. That is so annoying. Skizzers. Why am I doing that? You can just rip tin foil. Into a ball. Just like that. And there you go, that's the video done. Peace out, I love you all. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Now I'm just gonna keep wrapping this up in multiple layers until I use the whole roll. See, I've only done two layers and it's already like kind of starting to come together. And it is already pretty solid. Oh my god, I'm already sweating I've only done three layers. I've just realised how long this is going to take. Please leave a like down below. Let's try to smash 3,000 likes on this video. Show some support. I'm sat here sweating and I'm going to be doing this for hours. So please show some support on this video. And if you are new, make sure you go down there and press that Ooh, subscribe button. You're probably unsubscribed because I just dabbed. Oh my god, I'm sweating. So if you see how big this is right now, this is after about four or five layers, I can't really remember. But this is like this big. Once you start hammering it, it actually like squishes in a little bit more and compacts it down. That's why it gets so small, so that's why you've got to originally make it so big. So I'm going to be here for a long time. And there 
we go. That is one full roll of tin foil or aluminium foil, whatever you guys call it. All rolled up and compressed into one ball. Now to compress it a little bit more, what I have to do is place it here and use the hammer to like circle it out a little bit more. Is that even a thing? And then it kind of makes it up into a perfect sphere or ball and that is when you get onto the sanding bit. So this is a part where I probably end up hitting my finger like multiple times and maybe knocking it off with the hammer. Oh my god. Oh, this is so dangerous for me to do. <sighs> I'm so warm. I'm gonna have to kneel down and do this because my back's gonna snap. Okay. How oh, help me? You want Nick? You want? going to have a bash for me now because I'm tired. Fine job there. She is a family. She is family. <laughs> <laughs> that so I've been hammering and stuff for a while now and this is what it's turned out like you can see that this bit like these are little bits that are flaking off but that's just like the end of the tin foil but this is like pretty rock solid so now what I need to do is get this and get some sandpaper and literally just sand it so here we go another couple hours of doing this Spiking me. So if I show you guys, you can't like properly see, but like this bit, it's kind of smoothing out. As you can see a little bit, it's kind of smoothing out. And look at my hands, my hands are covered. But it's kind of smoothing out a little bit. It's not mirror polished yet, but it's kind of smoothing out just a little bit. Man's gotta keep going. Yeah. I gotta stop doing that. So I've been sanding for a while and I'm finally getting to like the last stages and you can see it's getting dark outside, that's how long I've been doing it, I've been doing it for hours and it's got like the mucky, I don't know how to explain it, like where I've been sanding it, it's like quite mucky. So I'm going to clean it off with some tin foil, kitchen foil, kitchen roll and then hopefully this will be a nice stainless steel mirror polished ball. So if I give it a good old wipe and the reveal, oh my god, look at it! It's God, I'm so funny. Let me put you at the window so there's a bit better lighting. Yeah, basically, I think that this whole trend thing on YouTube with this, making it mirror polished is not a real thing. It's not going to go mirror polished. It's kind of impossible. I, I don't know. I feel like it's not real, so I made my own. <laughs> really, this is just the end of a curtain rail. So... Yeah, but I still kind of enjoyed it because it's like it's quite a cool thing the fact that this was tin foil And I made it into like this rock solid circle. It is really hard and it hurts I just thought I'd do like a little spoof little joke thing and show you my very own mirror polish ball But you can see that's how it connects to the end of the curtain rail I stole this off my curtain rail So my mum and dad's probably gonna want to kill me because I don't know how you put it back on So I've took you off my tripod now. Let me just actually show you this hoodie's weird right there We go. Let me just actually show you where I got this little bad boy from I got a new thumb I bought it at um, a supermarket on the corner of my broccoli passage. I actually need help do, 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 do. This is the living room. Hello, living room. And as you see, we have curtains there, there, and there, and there. We also have curtain rails to hold the curtains, obviously. And on this side, you can see right there in the corner hiding, there's a little silver ball. If I move over to this side, you can see that there isn't. So there's no silver ball because it's, it's in my hand. Hello. And you are probably thinking, how did I get up there? Because that's like twice the size of me. I stood on a chair. I used my brain, you know, my noggin. But yeah, basically, 
anyway, this is literally just off of that. So I hope you enjoyed. Ha 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 he he he. But the reason I did the video like I did, like I actually went ahead and properly completed the challenge. Like I made the foil ball and everything, sanded it down and everything, and this is the end product. I filmed it like I did because I didn't want to like be the sort of YouTuber to fake it to you guys. I didn't want to play it off as if, oh, oh my god, it shrank down. Shrank, shrink, shrinkered. Sh I don't know the word. It went smaller and then turned into a shiny ball from that. Yeah, bit of a size difference. I didn't want to be that YouTuber that was like, oh my god, it works. Whoa. So I just thought I'd do like a little joke thing for you guys to watch. Hopefully you still enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go down there and leave a like below. Let's try and get 3,000 likes on this video. I'd really, really appreciate it. Also, if you are new, make sure you subscribe. We are going bigger and bigger every single day. And make sure you cop yourself some merch. This is the pink crown hoodie. These hoodies are sick. So soft, so fire. Make sure you go to lee-hinchcliffe.shopfirebrand.com. Cop yourself some Lee Hinchcliffe merch. And two pictures of you wearing it. And I will like you, follow you, retweet you, all that stuff. But thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I did enjoy doing it. There is there is some element of fun to this. Can I just say it takes hours, though? If you want to take this on for yourself, it takes hours. You need a full day to do it. It must have took me at least, I'd say at least five. But it took a long time to do, but it's still quite fun to do. So if you guys want to do it, do it and show me your end results. I'm going to stop talking now. I hope you enjoyed. I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.